this is GCSE Computer Science. Uh, my name is Mrs Lane and I'm going to guide you through a little bit about the course and what it includes. If you like maths and science and want to apply your skills in a practical way, then this could be a suitable option for you. If you enjoy the challenge of writing programs and have a passion for technology or want to develop your Python programming language a little bit further, then this again could be a suitable course for you. There are many reasons why you should choose computer science. We do live in an ever-changing world where technology is ever-increasing. And there's no doubt about it that there are jobs available for suitable young professionals, especially if you're talented in particular areas. There are lots and lots of big companies in the UK that are looking for, for new talent some that uh, are identified just on the page and we do have a history of making and monitoring some incredible technology in this country um, so you could be part um, of some of those things just to give you a bit of information about the course content it's split up into two parts they're two external exams both are an hour and a half and worth 50 percent overall of your final gcse grade First part, component one. Again, this is a written paper. Uh, it's non-calculated paper, but it contains lots and lots of different theoretical parts of computer science, such as systems architecture, memory and storage, um, looking at things like data and representation, conversion into binary, networking, system security, and um, software, and ethical, legal, cultural, and environmental issues as well. The next part of the assessment is component two, and this is computational thinking, algorithms and programming. Again, it's an hour and a half paper, and again, 50% of the final grade. Same mark tariff as well, again, a non-calculator paper. This paper is split up into two sections, section A and section B. Section A is all really to do with theory of how you solve algorithms and problems. Um, so it could include logic and uh, searching and sorting and a little bit of programming in there as well. And then section B, this is really to assess your practical programming skills and your ability to design, write, test and refine programs. So you can see that there's quite a, a range of different uh, topics for you to, to look at within computer science. But it, what it does do is it does equip you for a, a well-rounded computer science qualification um, to name but a few. If you want any uh, questions answered, then you're very welcome to come and see both myself or Miss Minty, and we'll be very happy to answer any questions you might have about the course. Thank you very much.